Okay, so let's make another yummy one. So we're going to need a tin of chickpeas and you're going to want to save the juice also. We are going to need half of, of lemon, juice of half of lemon, two cloves of garlic and tahini. You can also use um, almond butter if you don't want to use tahini. So in a blender, we're going to add the chickpeas from the tin. You're going to add the juice of the lemon, so half of lemon from a juice. You are going to add two cloves of garlic. I do two because I like it. Um, so some recipes call for one. So if you don't really like garlic, you can put just one. And you're going to put, um, I put here about two tablespoon of tahini. Um, again, you can put a bit less, but this this is what gives it that creaminess. So I do recommend to put two tablespoons. And you want to stir it before. I didn't show you that. You want to stir it before because sometimes the oil is above. So you want to take oil and paste. So what you're going to do is going to put the lid on your uh, device there and you just start it. And as you can see, it doesn't have a lot of juice now. So that's why we saved the juice from the tin of chickpeas because we are going to slowly start adding some of that juice in. So you can see it's now starting to mix everything together and it's starting to get that consistency, that creamy consistency that we are looking for. So I'm not going to tell you how much you need to add because this you will have to do it by eye and I'll show you the consistency that we're looking for. Um, I like to make it actually a bit more soft because I've noticed that if I put it in the fridge overnight and you keep it in the fridge one or two days until you eat it, don't you? It's, as long as you keep it, it's getting to get hard. So it's, it's getting harder. So I actually make it a bit soft in the first day so I can have it the creamy consistency that I can spread it on toast the next day. So also don't forget to scrape the edges of your edges of your food processor because it's going to go up. I'm just going to start it up again and leave it until you get that creamy consistency that you're looking for. And then you can eat it like this. Um, or you can add some more stuff in it so i'm going to show you two recipes so i'm making one with paprika so i have some paprika here i have normal paprika and smoked paprika that i mix together so one tablespoon of that and one tablespoon of that and then i have some uh, sun-dried tomatoes so a can of sun-dried tomatoes like a, a and then what you what you're going to do is you're going to Pour one tablespoon of paprika and you're going to put all the sun-dried tomatoes in there. I've um, They are in oil or they used to be in oil, the ones that I used. So I took the oil out. You can see I have a little bit of oil left there but it's fine. But I took the majority of the oil out. If you don't want to use sun-dried tomatoes because they're quite pricey, you can also use peppers. Um, you can use peppers from the cans that are really good um, or you can just use paprika you can just leave it at the paprika and just do it so it's really yummy it gives it a bit more taste so now if you feel like it's not that creamy so it's getting a bit too thick you can add some more of that juice from the chickpeas as i as you see i did there so you just mix it all up and now we're going to show you the second recipe. So what are we going to do? We're going to make the base again. So I'm going to put again one um, can of chickpeas that I've drained, two cloves of garlic, juice from half of lemon, and two tablespoons of tahini paste. Again, you can use, um, you can also use peanut butter if you if you want if you like but it's not really the original hummus recipe but you can try it you can also use almond butter if you like instead of tahini if you don't really like the taste of that so we're going to make it again and this um here i want to show you the consistency that i was talking about so it is a bit more soft than you would think it needs to be but that's because, as I said, it it get it will get harder if you put it in 
you see it's a bit more soft so it's you want it so it falls down down from the spoon it doesn't stay but the next day in the fridge it will stay so in this one I'm going to add butter from the top of like the coconut butter you know when it gets the, the the stuff on top and I'm going to add some curry powder so I'm going to add uh, a tablespoon of curry powder and uh, from a tin of coconut milk half of that uh, butter that is on top don't add all of it because I I'm telling you this from experience I put all of it and it gets too soft so you will have to add another tin of chickpeas so if you do the quantity of two tins of chickpeas then you can add all the butter from the coconut butter from the tin but if you do the quantity for half then just that just add one so that's it it is absolutely yummylicious i love it i hope that you liked this video and you enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and i'll see you in the next one bye bye